As the nation remembers the victims of that tragedy, senators on Capitol Hill say they have reached a tentative agreement on a new gun safety law. It comes less than a month after the deadly shootings in Uvalde, Texas and Buffalo, New York. The proposal includes funding that would encourage states to pass red flag laws, which aim to keep guns away from people considered a threat to others and themselves, allowing criminal records to be searched during background checks for buyers younger than 21, and increasing funding for school security. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, what's the president's reaction to the proposal? So President Joe Biden said that he says that there's not enough that's being done in this agreement, but he says it's a step in the right direction. He did say, though, that this is the biggest legislation to pass Congress for decades. Leaders hope to push this new framework agreement into law quickly. They hope this will pass next month. 20 senators, including 10 Republicans, released a statement calling for the passage. That is potentially crucial because the biggest obstacle to enacting the measure is probably in the 50-50 Senate, where at least 10 GOP votes will be needed to attain the usual 60-vote threshold for approval. The proposal would make the juvenile records of gun buyers under the age of 21 available when they undergo background checks. The suspect who killed 10 people at a grocery store in Buffalo and 19 students and two teachers at an elementary school in Uvalde were both 18. The agreement would offer money to states to implement red flag laws that make it easier to temporarily take guns from people considered potentially violent and to bolster school safety and mental health programs. And it would take other steps, including requiring more people who sell guns to obtain federal dealer's licenses, which means they would have to conduct background checks of purchasers. A local member of Moms Demand Action spoke out about this announcement. Yeah, so what do you think about the framework that was announced today? Obviously, it's not put into law yet. It was a monumental step forward for gun violence prevention. Um, the framework put forward is a great step in the right direction, and we know it will save lives. There's more that can always be done, but the meaningful action that we saw by the Senate today is something that hasn't happened in 26 years. She says she's tired of these mass shootings happening and nothing being done. We always hear the same thing. It's thoughts and prayers. And we know that they're appreciated, but they're hollow without any sort of action. And so we can't sit on our hands any longer and say there's nothing we can do about it. And now the NRA actually also tweeted saying that they don't take a position on any framework. They're going to need to see what the bill entails. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville. Bree Ice, Channel 4, the local station.